yeah, hey. What I want to talk to you guys about is the issue of black people supporting uh, white people who are openly known racists. Um, because we as a community <coughs> already put up with enough. And to think that in a platform like the internet where we can go uh, uh, to get away from a lot of the issues in the real world that <coughs> we support people who are openly racist, um, such as vloggers, musicians, and a lot of different career paths, I do not think is a good idea. It sounds pretty, it's it's a huge stressor, isn't it? Um, and, and also, <coughs> not only is it a huge stressor, what do you think it does to your self-esteem? How do you think you feel when you're watching someone <coughs> who probably knows the brutality of your history, who knows how much you guys have, today you pro guys go through, because the stuff, they talk about it all the time, and still has still says the n-word you know and still says you know things like go back to africa and says some t very terrible things how does it make you feel um you know and to be honest with you people might say what is your proof and i'll tell you what my proof is because honestly man you have to realize something about the internet <coughs> on the internet nowadays you can find just about anything you want you know whether positive or negative and if you can probably watch and maybe and probably just type something in a search bar like maybe you might say so and so YouTuber who might be a big YouTuber and say write his name and type racist I'm pretty there's a good chance definitely there's a good chance that something from his past will come up that shows that he's a racist um to be honest with you I know people might say, well, I hope you know he might have changed his ways or something. But it still doesn't matter, man. Um, you know, because a lot of these people, from the way they kind of talk about issues, and the way they kind of, just in general, they talk, you can kind of tell I don't really think they've really changed as much as they claim that they have. You know, uh, such as maybe some of them might uh, always be saying, you know, it's kind of always black people that kind of do these sorts of things. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of them, uh, you know, and, and be talking, you know, in like an ebonical <coughs> way of talking. Like you can kind of get the memo that they still have that racism in them. Uh, <coughs> you know, and ebonics is like, in talking in ebonics and street slang, kind of like to... It sounds like they're kind of making fun of. You can kind of tell a lot of them still have it, to be honest with you. So, honestly, to solve this issue, because <clears throat> from what I've heard, a lot of white employers and their jobs really do treat black people not the very best. And even for YouTube nowadays, they do have people who work at offices and share ideas with each other. And I heard, and I heard that uh, that apparently there was this report of a bunch of black YouTubers who actually got together, and with the ways their photos looked, and with the issue, it looked even though these are probably some of them might be some very strong people, it looked like pathetic. It looked like they were weak or something. They just looked vulnerable in those pictures. It, it did not look good. Um, and there were talks speaking out against racism in the black community. Um, about racism from in the workplace from these people, you know? So, honestly, to solve this issue and not to <coughs> to feel humiliated like that, what the black community is going to have to do is we're going to have to start supporting each other, okay? I know people are going to say, you know, oh my, you know, oh my gosh, don't tell me about black businesses. Black businesses suck so much, you know? I, you know, and I know, and I know a lot of black businesses suck, okay? I, I know, <coughs> I, I don't want you to end up like some of those black you know, power people who just because someone's black, they'll support their business. And, <clears throat> and like, for example, they might go to a restaurant where they have dried chicken. You know, they ask for fried chicken and rice and they got some dried chicken with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, soggy rice, you know, which, which kind of tasted a bit stale. Like, I, I don't even know. Um, it just was bad, you know. Maybe they just took it out of the freezer and it just, 
heated up in a microwave and it had like a frost uh you know refrigerator taste to it you know um because it was in there for so long like like you don't have to be like one of those kinds of people okay what you what the black community is gonna have to do is everybody's gonna have to focus specifically or at least mostly on if they're doing a career for their job what they're interested in like if you want to <coughs> make uh mu you know make music and branch off into other forms you know please you know honestly you know you have to realize if you're interested in playing the electric guitar black people have played that for a long period of time you i hope you know there's other music genres aside from rock you know just just putting that out there and <coughs> also if you want to learn how to entertain yourself you know like maybe like record wildlife documentaries or maybe you want to record um uh something where you talk about issues um just in general out of interest or something maybe historic you know um just covering other histories such as maybe like uh the history of the mongols like people always say the mongols but it's just a random example um you know <coughs> or ancient china or like even egypt what whatever you're interested in um and just always mentioning those sorts of things uh you can do that you know or or just in general maybe you can make uh games and at, at least if you're into that if that's what you're really into it's something you enjoy and it's something <coughs> you have the idea of creating because that's one thing i like about the black community is that we are obsessed with creativity okay you know like i remember back in days <coughs> black people are always one of the slang terms black people are always coming up with is someone who's not real and someone who's fake and someone who's always stealing somebody's ideas remember back in days with cameron how people used to have the term swagger jacker and all of those sorts of terms i don't even think people use swagger jacker anymore um but <clears throat> people for the longest time have have just had many terms i don't remember all of them because i guess there's been so many uh you know referring to people who who steal other people's ideas and that's one thing i like about the black community is that we take much emphasis in coming up with your own creative idea and honestly to come up with your own creative idea make sure it's at least something you enjoy doing um <coughs> honestly man um and <coughs> through that process if you're maybe like a reviewer because reviewers that's what really i think what's really makes uh people take off for things and just in general people who try things out make sure you share those ideas with uh you promote other black people you know <coughs> to you know and ones who actually like who actually care about what they do you know <coughs> people who actually care about it you know it might even be someone who comes up with an economic theory or something um <coughs> you know on or whatever to just anything just support those people and that's what's gonna help um people be you know help uh uplift a community so if if you want to watch a movie for uh or something uh if you want to watch uh, a tv show um if you want to watch this and that you always have that available not just the black community just relying off of just rap music as a way of making money <coughs> Because you have to realize most black people don't even live in the ghetto. So why do, why do we just focus on that? So in general, this is a way to uplift the black community. Because if we can focus on other industries, aside from just rap and just sports, um, <coughs> and, and just in general, music in general, like music producing is also a big thing. If we can expand on it, because we'll put less pressure on those industries. Because honestly, if every person... Obviously, if, if let's just say there's maybe like 10 million people and like 5 million people want to be a musician and 5 million people want to be a sports person, obviously for those two industries, the chances that you'll make it are a lot slimmer. But if they diversified, if they want, wanted to make movies, if they wanted to, <coughs> to be interested in uh, uh, Astra, you know, like... Uh, engineering and all that sort of stuff all of those different industries it's obviously going to expand and and 
and it's going to diversify. So obviously that's a good way to expand it and in the process the community can start making more money instead of just focusing on the same industries um, over and over again. And <clears throat> I can have do things in more of our own way and how we want it to be, you know, with our own unique culture. And that's my video and that's all I have to say.